you can have a millionaire lifestyle if you've got maybe a hundred grand in the bank. <laughs> okay, you can live like a millionaire here. And I have an inside track that says that this project is going ahead and it's being pushed ahead by Zelensky himself. Imagine for just a moment, if you could go back in time to 1960 Daytona Beach and buy 21 acres of land on the ocean. How do you think you would have done on that investment? Well, I'm standing on a 21 acre lot of land here on the Black Sea. And I'm gonna share with you how you can get it right now, cheap like borscht, and the huge upside and why in just a moment. First of all, let me set the stage. We're in Ukraine in a little bedroom uh, resort community called Sergeyevka. It's uh, about 20 kilometers from Zatolka. Zatolka is like Daytona Beach. We walked the beach, it was like 20 kilometers. It's like endless, super deep like Daytona Beach. It, it's a party central like Daytona Beach, you know, but pricing back to 1960, development back to 1960, huge upside. Here's a little bit why. I'm gonna get into various levels of why this area is a great place to park your money. First of all, Crimea is gone. Annexed by Russia. And that was the favorite vacation spot of Ukrainians. You know, they all, all Ukrainians, they go to the sea in the summer. So they look for an economical place to go relax on the seaside. The problem is Odessa has become too expensive for Ukrainians now. And Ukrainians would prefer to go to Egypt or Turkey. So Ukrainians' uh, vacation choices, if you will, are to go to Zatolka, which is more like a Daytona Beach, party central uh, if you're for the younger generation. But if you want more chilled family type vacation, Come to Sergeyevka. It's a bedroom type community, small but beautiful beaches. Now let me take you to an even smaller, more chilled bedroom community, more like a Key West 1960, when there was nothing in Key West, you know, just some cottages. Now Libidovka is only 40 kilometers from here, but this is huge. They're making a whole new road. It's a deca, deca million dollar highway improvement project. New highway all the way. And it doesn't really make sense. You say, why? It's, it's farmyard and vineyards on the way. Beautiful God's country drive, you know? And you say, why are they putting new roads here? Because if you've been to Ukraine, you know the roads are shit. <laughs> and this road is just like glass. So for six months, they've been making this improvement and you can see they're pouring the money into this thing. You can see what's interesting is the, uh, the equipment they're using is not the, the typical 20, 30 year old graders and dump trucks and stuff like this. It's all state of the art, new, new, new stuff. So you go, hmm, something's up here. So on the down low, President Zelensky is working with Arab investors. They're gonna build 19 uh, resort properties and one uh, treatment facility using this magical mud right near Libidovka. So that's why they're already building this highway. Also, there will be a casino there. So they've already started the process of re-legalizing casinos in Ukraine because currently casinos are still illegal in Ukraine. Of course, everything here is going to just skyrocket. And as a real estate investor, that's what we look for. We look for transportation improvements and huge developments because land prices always skyrocket after. You would think intuitively people have a bit of foresight and they say, okay, this project is coming. So I'm going to buy some land here. I'm going to buy some property here. But in fact, if you look at the analysis historical, the price increase doesn't really, it might start a little bit, but it doesn't take off until the, the development's actually in and done. So we have a huge upside. Whether it's Zotoka you invest in here or Libidovka. Okay, let's get down to brass tacks. The real reason I'm shooting this video is because I saw this plot of land, 21 acres on the Black Sea here in Sergeyevka three days ago. I put a deposit down the next day. This is one of the biggest no-brainer investments I've seen in my 20-year investment uh, career. So, and by the way, for you guys that don't know that my background is engineering and real estate investing, I've attached two lawyer videos where they talk about their experiences working with me over, well, almost two decades in the description below this video. So this property is located 
close to town, the city center, about a click kilometer. We're on the estuary, which is a protected bird and turtle sanctuary. There's about a hundred white, beautiful swans that make their home right out front, right here. Turtles about foot, foot and a half across, protected. There's kite boarding about a hundred uh, yards, a couple hundred yards away, because there's big winds that come up here. There's boar hunting, duck hunting. I mean, it's the epitome of God's country. And you're 60 kilometers from Odessa to Zatolka and another 20 kilometers from Zatolka to here to Sergeyevka. So you're looking at maybe 80 kilometers to Odessa, draw of a million people, and then only another 40 kilometers to where they're building the 19 hotel resorts, a therapy center, and a casino. And when you hear the price I'm paying for this property, it's insane. Oh yeah, and just down the road is a walkway and a driveway. You can go down to a little uh, walk-on ferry and go across to a sandbar where everybody loves to bathe, to suntan over there. It's just a really cool, chilled bedroom vacation community that if you're looking for a place to live in Ukraine, it doesn't get any better than this. I mean, you can have a millionaire lifestyle if you've got maybe a hundred grand in the bank. <laughs> okay, you can live like a millionaire here. What else I wanna share with you? People are a lot more friendly here. Oh yeah, I mean, Odessa, it's one thing. People are more friendly in Odessa than in Kiev, but you come here, it's another level of happiness and friendliness. People are more like a Canadian. And then you go to Sumi and other places, people aren't so friendly. Shh. <laughs> but here, it's just great. It's, it's a breath of fresh air after living in Ukraine for four years. So without further ado, let's take a walk about around this property. I'll show you all corners of this 21 acre property. Let's walk down the property line and you will see the street on the right and you will see big trees on the left on the seaside. And then we'll jump over the tree line and uh, look at the beautiful view at the estuary and the Black Sea. Look at that incredible, beautiful view. You see to the right, that is actually the town center back there, about a kilometer, click and a half maybe. To the left, you can see down the little walk-on man ferry. Then, uh, just a bit, little bit to the left of us, down the road, maybe another 100 yards, is a Moldovan restaurant. So let's walk in the door here in the Moldovan restaurant and I'll show you around. Look at the beautiful architecture. Let's walk up the stairs now and you can see the stunning panoramic view. Can you imagine having dinner right here on the Black Sea? I mean, talk about romantic. And once you live here, guys, it's much easier to find your beautiful Ukrainian lady and take your time. By the way, right here beyond these trees is another uh, 20 meter section of land before the cliff, before the seaside. And that's government property, 20 meters deep and then the, the full length of the property. And you can use it. I mean, the neighbors have used it. Uh, it's just not your property. So let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? The primary reason I'm shooting this video is I'm looking for a fellow investor that wants to get in on this opportunity, investing in this 21 acre plot of land in Sergeyevka here on the Black Sea. So we have lots of options. Uh, we have buy and hold, we could develop it. If there's somebody out there that wants to jump in on this no brainer deal, just shoot me an email with uh, investment opportunity with Joe 
in the subject line and I'll call you and talk about all the details. And here's the thing, guys. If you ask the locals in Libidovka about this uh, 19 hotel development and the, the, the spa, like the health treatment center and the casino, they say it's just a rumor. They haven't heard about it. But ask yourself, why are they building 40 kilometers of highway, of new highway, amongst farmland to go to Libidovka, population 500? And I have an inside track that says that this project is going ahead, has being pushed ahead by Zelensky himself. Okay, so that's it for now, guys. I'm gonna keep reporting back to you on investing in Ukraine because I've rekindled that investment spirit of mine here in Ukraine because of this area. I never found anywhere in Ukraine before that I would feel comfortable investing unless it was a steal of a deal. Uh, but this, this is a no-brainer. And when I talk to you and you see more about what's coming here and what the potential is, and what the demand is, I think you'll agree with me. I've looked at international waterfront properties in countries around the world. I've never seen anything even close to this good of a deal. So if that sounds good to you, if you want to know more, just give me a ring. Talk to you soon. Hi, I'm Rick Letting. I'm a lawyer and I practice in Vancouver, British Columbia. And I've done a number of deals with uh, Joe Ricards, probably countless deals with Joe Ricards over the years. And I've uh, found Joe to always be a very diligent performer when it comes to creative deals. As a matter of fact, at one point in time, I actually said to Joe that if he was a lawyer or a licensed lawyer, that I would certainly probably hire him because of his uh, due diligence. Uh, he's very thorough with the way he uh, examines and analyzes deals. And I, um, I've also found him to be quite a good creative uh, deal maker. He's done countless deals over the years and he's always very very creative very analytical um, I would say that uh, I would highly recommend him if if anybody ever came to me and said that they were planning on doing some form of a joint venture deal with them I would I would highly recommend that that would probably be a good thing for them to do and I would certainly follow Joe's lead you know because he's got a good sense of uh, where a deal's going and he's got some good experience. Hi, my name is Barry McGuire. I'm a partner in an Edmonton law firm. I've been practicing law for 37 years. I'm a real estate educator. I'm also a real estate investor for over 39 years. And today I, I would like to just talk to you a little bit about the best wealth creating strategy that I know about in real estate. And that strategy is multifamily syndication. Over the years, in, in my 37 years of practicing law, I have seen every kind of real estate deal come across my desk. All different styles, all different setups, everything. And my most successful clients, my wealthiest clients, are all multifamily syndicators. That is the very best way to make money in real estate, and I truly believe that. So, if you want to learn about multifamily syndication, you can certainly learn on your own. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of money, you're gonna make a lot of mistakes. And as I said, I'm a real estate educator, so I'm, I am tuned in to who is teaching what across this country, and I don't know of anyone else who is teaching you how to do multifamily syndication at this point in time. There just isn't anybody else across the country who's doing it, except Joe Ricards. As I said, 37 years in the law game, I've had lots of real estate clients. Joe knows more about real estate than any other client I've ever had. Uh, in, our, in our latest transaction, he constantly surprised me with his intimate knowledge of how real estate works, including into the legal concepts. And it's not just a little bit more than my other clients, he knows a lot more than my clients. So he's an extremely knowledgeable investor on the real estate side of things. The second thing is, is diligence. Everyone says you have to do your due diligence. But you know, what, does that, what does that really mean? You have to understand what diligence items you have to do, what you want to discover about a property, and then what you do with the information that you get. 
Joe did not leave a stone unturned. There was many a time on this recent transaction where I'd say, Joe, what about the, and then I would name a diligence item. Joe already had it covered. So he understands diligence and how important it is, and he really, really gets it done. That's number two. And then the, the third thing is protection. And on the protection side, what I, what I mean when I say that is that Joe is extremely concerned about transparency and disclosure in real estate transactions. He wants to make sure that everybody involved in the deal knows exactly what is going on. And I have to tell you that that is rare in, in real estate investors. Some of them just maybe, you know, they just don't want to tell the truth all the time. Joe wants to tell the truth. He wants full disclosure. He wants to be fully transparent. And he knows what that, what that means is that a, an approach like that, that particular approach, means that his clients and his investors are absolutely fully protected, which I really take to heart and I really enjoyed that in working with Joe. So folks, I recommend Joe Ricards. Have you been searching for a beautiful wife? Do you dream of meeting the perfect woman but haven't found her? Well, imagine if there was a simple way this could all change for you. Imagine if there was a Canadian marriage agency that would introduce you to as many beautiful women as it takes until you find the one. Ukraine, a lost world of beautiful traditional women. At last, a place where you can find the beautiful wife you have always dreamed of. Every Ukrainian woman dreams of having a happy family. Now you can have a traditional beautiful wife from Ukraine, creating happy family memories forever. So what are you waiting for? Register right now and Skype our beautiful ladies completely free. So what makes us different, you might ask? Why not ask Google simply by searching Match Guarantee Reviews.